We also saw this slide earlier today. And let me highlight some of the challenges that we do see, that you're only testing on a fraction of the data or you use artificially created data sets. Our clear recommendation is to bring all your data to the cloud. But when you do that, you should again be aware of the storage limitation that comes with the various cloud offerings. Um, again, here as an example, a 60 terabyte uh, production database will only fit on an XSCS. There are a few options that you can use when you migrate your database to the cloud. You can either take all of your data, the entire database, structure and data, or you can migrate the structure only. The good thing about bringing your entire database is that it allows for full testing, including application testing. You can connect your application to the cloud database and do some very useful end user testing there. But if you only migrate the structure, it doesn't really make sense to connect an application because there is no data there. But obviously, when you bring an entire database, you will use more resources and it is more costly. But bringing all the data is really our preferred method. But if you don't have the resources for that, or if you have a really large database, you might decide to migrate the structure only. If that is your choice, you can use Data Pump to export only the structure of the database by using the content equals metadata only. This will extract the definition of the users, the tables, the indexes, and so forth, all the metadata, but it will skip all the rows of all the tables. When you then import the data into the cloud database, you will have a complete copy of your database, of your data, except all the rows are missing. But the good thing is that the statistics in the cloud database will still reflect that of the on-prem database. So imagine you had a customer's table with 1,000 rows in your cloud database. After the import, even though the table is empty, the customer's table is empty, the statistics will still say that there is 1,000 rows in there. And the statistics are locked to ensure that those representative statistics are not overridden by, for instance, the automatic statistics gathering job. Another option is to truncate the tables before you do the export or before you migrate the database. You have to truncate all the tables in one table space in order to shrink or resize the data files down to a minimum size. So if you have a 10 terabyte table space and you truncate all the tables in there, you can use the alter database resize command to shrink that data file, those data files down to a very little size. And then you can easily migrate a 10 or 20 terabyte database into the cloud. But be aware, when you truncate a table, you're also resetting the statistics on the database. So if you use this approach, you need a way of transferring the statistics from the on-prem system to the cloud database for testing. But we will cover that later on today. And finally, don't do this in production.